Hey guys, hey everyone out there, it's your girl Twin D and thank you so much for stopping by the camp, thank you for being here, thank you for joining if you've been with me for a long time, big up, big up, big up, big up on yourself and thank you all so much for your support and thank you guys for all those who have now joined, thank you, big up on yourselves too, love you guys, love you all, anyways, it is the weekend and I wish you all a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Do not forget to join me on Sunday for the prayer because we cannot get through this life without giving God thanks. You know, we got to always learn to be grateful. And if it's just to say thank you, please be there tomorrow. As a matter of fact, it's every Sunday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right. Now, guys, let's jump into your message and see what your masking has to say to you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. All right, Divine Feminines, let's see what your Divine Masculines have to say to you today about what's going on around them. Let's see what their message is to you. Man, these cards can fly. You've done nothing wrong. I'm just figuring things out. I love you. I want you. I'm coming for you. Please be just a bit more patient with me. I'll make this up to you later. So your Divine Masculines, they do know or they do feel that you think that you are the cause of this separation, that you're at some kind of fault. But your Divine Masculines, they want to let you know that no, it's not you. You did nothing wrong. It's not your fault, sweetie. It's not your fault, honey. It's not your fault, baby. Do you hear that? Confirmation. They're just taking some time to figure some things out. Okay, there's one that almost came out. See, it didn't go back in. So I'll take it out. <laughs> I'm afraid to let you down once you get to know me. I don't want to disappoint you, so I'm avoiding you. Look at this crap now. Are you kidding me? I have to I have to overcome this and see myself as you see me before coming forward ready. I don't even know what to say about this message. You don't want to let me down, so you're staying away from me. How do you think that's going to make me feel? Divine masculines. That's not, <laughs> that's not the way you do things. You say something, you explain. You know, this is how I feel. But you know, they're not emotional beings, so they're not going to say how they feel. They're just going to withdraw. For, they, they take action, right? They're just going to do. But what they should take action towards, they're not doing that. Okay, this is the one that, <laughs> that wanted to come out. Don't underestimate the power of our love. Expect a miracle. Yeah, so there's going to be some unexpected changes here. Some unexpected movement from your divine masculines. They're letting you know that you should not forget how strong the love that you guys have for each other. How powerful it is. And how much your love helps them. Don't forget that. 838. Eight. I'm in the middle of a legal matter. I feel would be affected by me contacting, contacting you or would affect you adversely to get involved with. I'll reach out when I feel it's okay to do so. So some of your divine masculines are dealing with situation that if whosoever they are in this court issue with should find out that they're in contact with you, it would be working against them. So... In order to not have that happen and delay the process of union and delay them from freeing themselves from the situation or from taking advantage of, they would rather not involve you. They would rather stay away from you. They would rather not even tell you because they don't want you to be involved and they don't want to hurt you. I'm sorry. I really am. I hope you can forgive me. I just feel so bad. So this was said in the first message this morning as well for them to forgive you. They know that they withdrew for no reason. 
no no fault of yours it's because they are going through things they didn't explain they didn't say anything but they're apologizing i'm sorry baby i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm very sick or someone close to me is i don't want to burden you with the situation so i'm just taking care of it right now all right so your divine masculines whoever around them or if they are the ones that are sick they don't want you to they don't want you to be in the position where you are gonna have to be the one that's gonna take up this burden and deal with it because as divine feminines if they are sick or if we know that there's someone close to them that's sick it's gonna be of worry to us and we're gonna want to put in our 10 cents right and this is what I'm always saying to some of you guys out there. Even some of you guys who are always writing in the comments how your divine masculines, they owe you money and, and they owe you this and they keep taking things from you, borrowing things from you. Let me tell you something about masculines. They don't even want you to know that they're broke. They don't even want you to know when they're sick. They don't even want you to know when they're in need. So what you're dealing with is not a divine masculine. A divine masculine will never take things from the divine feminine because they don't want the feminine to look down on them to make them feel weak to make them seem like they're not the emperors that the divine feminine need what you're dealing with out there is a weak ass karmic that's what you're dealing with that's not a divine masculine I would like for you guys to refrain from doing so these men or women that are taking things from you over and over but they're not even the ones to blame you are because you're the ones who keep giving to them even though you know they can't give it back you keep lending them your money and you know they're never gonna come back why are you lending them your money with hopes that they will love you why i don't understand you lend somebody some money one time and they don't give it back to you and you realize, hey, they don't even have a job. Why am I going to give them money? And when they come again, you give it to them. And then when they go away and they don't pay you back, then you start to curse down the whole world and you curse everybody. But yet it's still you're not cursing yourself. Learn that about the divine masculines. They don't take things from the divine feminines. They will never leech off the divine feminine. Their providers... They're caregivers, they're protectors, they're not takers, except when they're taking our love and not giving it back. <laughs> but that's because they don't know how to give it back. But material things, they do not take from the Divine Feminine. So stop mixing up the Divine Feminine with karmics, please, and thank you very much. I love my masculines, I have to defend them. I would do absolutely anything for you. I'd go to the end of the earth. I will prove this in time once we come together. You know who I truly am and I plan to make this up to you. There. They'll do anything for you. The only thing they won't do is take from you. Nothing they're going to borrow from you. Could you lend me a hundred dollars? I got to go buy me something. And then they're going to be brave enough to stand in front of you again and say, lend me $200 again. No, that's not a masculine, my friend. I hope you're ready to make some major life changes quickly because I'm going to sweep you away. Think about simplifying your life as best, as, as best you can because I anticipate this moving forward. I'm sorry, guys. I have to be looking around this phone and over it at the same time. <laughs> I feel like I'm going through a major test of fate right now and I'm trying to stay positive but it's hard. It's just, it just feels like life is against me but I know I'll make it across the finish line and hold you in my arms when I pass this. So they know that they're going through a test. They know whatever it is that they're facing that they're going through is a test and they need to pass this test before they can stand in front of you. Before they can be that emperor that you deserve I've been seeing so many signs and synchronicities that remind me of you it's unreal it's made me feel certain you are the one for me and we have a bright future 
I just have to figure out how to follow them. Mm -hmm. I feel like you don't know who I really am. I'm catfishing you, but I've fallen in love with you, so I'm to the. P but I've fallen in love with you, so I'm to the point I know I need to tell you my true identity, and I'm dreading you won't love me once you know. So your divine masculines are feeling like you have fallen in love with someone that you don't really know. Like you've fallen in love with that first part that you met of them. That loving part that they were giving to you. But they are not like that. Some of these are my masculines. They see themselves as weak. They see themselves as, as not worthy of your love. They see themselves as I'm not a good enough man. Or I'm not a good enough woman for you. But that's not true. We see the real them. We see the real them because as a matter of fact, look at what you and the masculines have been going through. Look at look at how they may have shunned you and told you, oh my God, you'll never be together. And they may even reject you for somebody else, disrespect you in front of others. But yet still, you're still there. So divine masculines, we see you, the bad part and the good part. We know all about you. We know all. And we know which part is real and which part is not. Your healing is also causing me to heal. I can feel huge shifts within me. Please keep working on yourself to help expedite my healing. Keep focusing on you. It's working. Like I always tell you, even the masculines know that this journey is about you, Divine Feminine, healing yourselves first before they can be healed. Every time you heal Divine Feminines, your masculine does the same thing and heal as well. But it has to be done through you first. Some of your Divine Masculines are with toxic partners and that's the reason why they don't even want to communicate with you. Because they know if they should involve you and this person finds out and this person may attack you or whatever... I can feel you in the energetic realm when you pray for me and talk to me telepathically. It's really helping me. Please keep it up. It's giving me faith. See that? They know. They know. Trust me. I'm just as frustrated as you. I just have to figure out some things before I can make this right. I don't want to involve you in all the boring or dramatic details. Just know I got this. I love, I love to hear when they say this. I got this, honey. Don't worry about it. I got this. Despite how anything appears, I am faithful to you. You have and hold my heart. So don't worry. Don't worry. 848. I want to call our visit so badly. But I have so much to do right now before I feel I can give you the time and attention you deserve. But I'm working you up my list of priorities. That's a promise. Don't be surprised if I show up at your door because they want to call you so badly or visit you guys. So do not be surprised if they show up at your door. They're working on it. I'm dealing with a stalker. It's a dangerous situation I don't want you to be involved with. As soon as I feel I have a handle on it and feel safe, i let you know. So they do have this karmic person that, that, that keeps fishing around them and won't leave them alone. That's why sometimes they don't even come around you, Divine Feminines. Because they have this person all up in their business. Let's see what else they have to say to you. This is the Lover's Oracle. I haven't used it in a long while. Why are the phrases goodbye, I'm sorry, and I love you so easy to pronounce and yet so hard to say? Mm. They never want to say goodbye. It's hard for them to say I'm sorry, but they at least they got it out. 
they got it out. I love you is the hardest thing for them to say right now. Because they don't know if they are that person that you think that they are. These are so beautiful. I love them. It only takes a second to say I love you. <laughs> but it takes a lifetime to show how much. My gosh. And then these messages. Oh, thank you very much. These messages. They know that even if they say I love you, it will take them a lifetime to prove it. They know that saying I love you is not something that they should throw around. It's not something that they should be telling you when they cannot prove it. And it's the same reason why us as Divine Feminine, we have to learn that no matter how much we love someone, we don't have to be saying it every single second. We don't have to be telling this person all the time, I love you, I love you. Learn to hold back. Saying I love you means nothing but just saying I love you. To show you truly love someone is to prove it. Anyone can say I love you. But it's hard to prove. So let them prove it instead of I want to know if you love me. I want them to say they love me. I want to hear them say they love me. Why haven't they told me they love me? So what if they say they love you? Anybody can say I love you. They're with their karmics. Their karmics tell them they love them and they don't mean it. You were with your karmic. Your karmic said they love you, but yet still they took advantage of you, abused you. So let them prove it. In true love, you want what is best for the other person. In romantic love, you want the other person. That's it, Divine Feminine. What do you want? And this is all you know if you're a relationship. You're, not your relationship. You don't have a relationship with your masculine. Your connection with your masculine. This is how you know if this is a twin flame connection or just a regular soulmate connection. With your twin flame connection, you always want what is best for your person. And that's why you know that even if you have to let them go, it's going to hurt you. But you have to do so. With romantic love, you only want the person. Oh, I want my masculine. Oh, I want my masculine. Why aren't they coming? I want them. Why do you want them? Oh, I miss being around them. I miss them loving me. I miss them touching me. I miss them hugging me. I miss them telling me they love me. I just miss their presence. But when you truly love this person, sometimes you can't even explain why you love them. It's not the fact that they are there. It's just because of who they are. Love has no limits and has no regrets. Where there is love, there is life. So there is love between you and your masculine. So there will always be life with it. Love is perfect even when we are not. That's why again, they're saying they're sorry. And they're apologizing. And want that forgiveness. This has been your message everyone. Take care of yourselves. To purchase your book or a reading. Go to twindflamed.square.site For your bracelets. Your keychains. Your bath bombs. And your incense. Go to twindholisticboutique.square.site And guys don't forget to join me for the prayer. Tomorrow Sunday 8.30pm Eastern Standard Time. Thank you so much. Oh, guys, I got these in the mail. So, oh, I'm showing you guys what I'm getting. Well, for now, I haven't shown you most. But I have received some of my my beads for, um, for the bracelets. Some of these beads, they're going to, I'm going to use these for, um, those with, like, anxiety and arthritis and stuff but just to show you that i'm getting some of my beads in and you guys can keep following me so i can show you that i am getting what i told you i'm getting so all your contribution this is where it's going so i can get the product this isn't even half of it this is just a start 
but you got to work with what you can work with for now. So all you guys out there who are contributing to this, thank you guys so, so much. Thank you for supporting me and everything is going fine. So that new website is coming and everything will be coming together. And also don't forget your money lip oils. Okay, guys, it is made from green adventurine, which is a powerful stone to help you with luck and money, especially for those who are looking for jobs right now. That's a powerful stone to have in your presence. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Love you all. Let go and let God. And I love you. Later. <laughs>